Hello, today is day 31 of the Church's 40 Days of Prayer program. The verse given to me to share thoughts with you about is from Isaiah chapter 1, verse 17, which reads as follows. Learn to do right. Seek justice. Encourage the oppressed. Defend the cause of the fatherless. Plead the case of the widow. I looked at the context of this verse in Isaiah chapter 1. The prophet Isaiah has had a vision concerning Judah and Jerusalem, and he is calling the nation to repentance. Isaiah shares with the nation that God has had more than enough of their meaningless multitude of sacrifices, burnt offerings, incense, festivals, and even their prayers. God would rather they just stopped doing wrong. But, does, but God does promise to restore if they are sincerely sorry. It also brought to my mind the verse in 1 Samuel 15 verse 22. Does the Lord delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as much as in obeying the voice of the Lord? To obey is better than sacrifice and to heed is better than the fat of the rams. Lots to think and pray about in these verses, and I note from these and I note that these sentiments are repeated many, many times throughout the Bible. Clearly it is something needed to be said often as we are hard to teach. God wants us to start learning to do right with a right motive. God sees and knows our hearts. Are my thoughts and actions pleasing to him? What are the things we do for show? God knows. The word justice jumped out at me, so I looked up what justice means. It's a huge word and difficult to define, but essentially it's about fair treatment, giving each person what he or she deserves. God's love, care, mercy and justice to us is so undeserved. So we must also seek and want justice for others. The verse also talks about the fatherless and widows. This represents the most vulnerable in society. The injustices in the world are many and include distribution of wealth, food insecurity, race issues, healthcare, nutrition, education, fair trade, income inequality, climate change, and so on. I have a place to live, I have food and drink, I have clothes, I have access to healthcare, and so much more. God wants me to want for others what I have. God knows what we are like as human beings which is why he has to repeat this message again and again so many times in the Bible. From the verse today, I am again challenged to seek and obey the things of God and to model God's grace and mercy on my fellow humans. Thank you for listening.